What's going on, YouTube, friends and family? Today, I wanted to show you guys this beautiful 2024 Peterbilt 579, and we're gonna jump straight into the video. And this is a flame red Peterbilt legendary red color. And um, guys, this truck is absolutely beautiful when it's all shined up and it's all cleaned up. I had ordered this truck, guys, to replace the Peterbilt 57, the Peterbilt 379, and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what it is it's fuel efficiency for 2023 and aerodynamics and comfortability that's the one reason why i did it that's a spoiler alert but let me tell you a little details on this 579 this is a 244 inch wheelbase all aluminum tires this uh, drum brakes in the rear disc brakes in the front and guys i absolutely love this truck it is the passenger side is 150 gallon fuel tanks the driver's side is 135 gallon fuel tanks and it is sitting on Peterbilt's low, low air leaf, air ride suspension. It's supposed to be a way comfortable ride. That's what my salesman says, but I had them before in the past and I, I have no, nothing to complain about them on this truck so far. Now guys, I was able to only change a couple of things with this unit due to the fact of when I ordered this truck, um, when the factory was gonna get built, I w it was too close for me to, to change too much things. One of the things I would like to change on this truck was the wheelbase and that the fact that it had um, drum brakes in the rear. Now, drum brakes to me are old technology, but it, it works fine, but that's not what I would prefer. But those are the only two complaints so far I have with this beautiful, magnificent fuel efficiency Peterbilt 579. And we're gonna go walk inside of this thing to see how spacious this thing is. And the visibility, guys, is 11 out of 10. Like, you could not find a truck with better visibility than this Peterbilt 579. And I drove many trucks. You know, the closest I could compare this thing to was maybe a Volvo 860. But the color combination on this truck, I wasn't able to change it, but it's still a great, very nice, sharp color on it. I know Kenworth has a lot more options. I think Kenworth has like 15 color different options on it. But uh, Peterbilt has like maybe for the 579, I think they may have like three or four co color combinations on it. But it's still a great color. It's still a great truck. The seats on there, pretty co pretty comfortable. I, I don't think they're the, they're the most prestige seats they have for Peterbilt. But these are still very much comfortable. Now, one of the things I don't like about this truck, and it's all Peterbilt's even with the Kenworth also is the navigation screen. I didn't want a truck with a navigation screen. I just wanted re just a regular re radio on there, but I, w I wasn't able to change that. But here's the interior here. It's a double bunk, super spacious, super comfortable. And I absolutely just love it. I haven't had this much room on the truck since I had my W9 Kenworth. And the, the visibility, the storage on this thing is just way more than enough for me as a single driver. I, don't, I do not do teams at all. And it's just very spacious and very comfortable. I'm not constantly hitting my knee. I'm not constantly hitting my head over the low um, roof on this thing. It's just, it's just, this mag it's just a magnificent truck for right now, so far. And yes, you do not see a stick because this, guys, is an automatic 12-speed uh, automatic transmission i think i believe no it is the packard 12 speed automatic transmission i don't know too much i don't know too much about it but so far i've driven it like about 1200 miles and I, I i like it i haven't pulled a load with this truck yet so far and i haven't driven through any mountains so far but if you guys uh have any feedbacks on the new um automatic um 12 speed uh packard transmission please let me know in the comments but like I said, this is the visibility that I'm showing you guys. Like I've, I've never seen this much clearance <laughs> on a truck in a long time. And I'm just showing you guys the cabinet space and the beautiful lighting, the LED lights on there, just magnificent at night. You could just pretty much see everything. But anyways, let me walk you around to the front of the, to the front of the truck. We, uh, I was able to get this truck with a Packard engine. Like I said, guys, oh, this is the storage area. Yeah. You got you got plenty of um, storage area um, to fit whatever you want to fit on there. I don't have that much stuff in there, and there's no complaints for me on there. But anyways, let's walk around to the front of the truck. 
before we uh, we get there to the front of the truck, um, I had a complaint with my sales guys about you know why the, the passenger side didn't have a storage component in there where I can you know chuck in some more stuff if I needed to. He's like, hey, I don't think you're gonna need it or you're gonna, it's not gonna be um, usable to you because if you put an APU on this truck, that space is just gonna be dead space anyways. So I didn't really too much trip on it because um, I figured he was right, but it is what it is. But anyways. Uh, this thing here is equipped with a Packard MX-13 uh, on it. And guys, I really love Packard engines. I, I had them in the past before, and they're great on fuel efficiency and reliability. You know, they don't too much give you problems. I In the past, the only problems I had with Packard really was the um, the GVT, which is an uh, actuator on the turbo. I think that's what it's called. But this new design here, like... Um, I see a couple of things that the engineers have done on it, like um, the valve cover gasket, it seems like it's different. The turbo looks like it's still the same thing, but it's just overall, to me, a great engine. You know, the best in line for fuel efficiency and quietness. This thing here, man, you're driving it down the street, you don't hear nothing. It's just, I feel like I'm driving a freaking Mercedes Benz, like I don't hear nothing with this truck here. But overall, um, I absolutely love this truck. Um, hopefully, it makes me a ton of money for 2023. And uh, that's just a quick review of this truck, guys. And let me know how you guys feel about it. And I'll see you on the road once I get this truck on the road and pulling its first load. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.